Well, you'll see that in a second, Joyce, but the state wants to make it clear that this data does not come with any names or license plates attached, so you don't have to worry about getting a ticket in the mail. The state says it just needs to look for some new ways to make our roads less deadly. Washington's roads are the deadliest they've been since 1990. Speed, impaired, and distracted drivers are to blame, say researchers, and Washington is an outlier. When you compare the state's traffic fatality rate change since 2019 with every other state in the country, Washington is by far at the top of the heap. That was startling because we just haven't been there before. As director of the Washington Transportation Safety Commission, it's Shelley Baldwin's job to make Washington's highways safe. In recent years, the agency has pushed for traffic cameras and work zones, more funding to hire police, and next year they'll again try to lower the state's blood alcohol level for drunk drivers. But they're looking in a new place for answers, your cell phone. The state has purchased data being collected by those map and traffic apps, showing where drivers are speeding and when they're using their phones. This is brand new. We just got this. The cell phone data collected between 2022 and 2023 found 50% of drivers went at speeds considered egregious, more than 15 miles an hour over the limit. 25% used their cell phones during a drive. The state had estimated that number was at about 9% and the cell phone usage rate was more than twice as high on residential streets versus highways. Which is super dangerous because that's where all the kids are and people are walking and dogs are out, whatever. Uh, but it also suggests that they're uh, moderating what they perceive as their risk because they're going slow. Baldwin says the state plans on using that data to figure out where speed cameras or troopers are needed and what roadways and neighborhoods need the most help. So this exact location data is going to be revolutionary, and we're just at the very tip of it. Shelley Baldwin did have a little bit of good news for us. She says the numbers so far for 2024 appear to be a fewer, uh, I guess the numbers are better, fewer people are dying on our roads this year than last year, but she says it's too early to start celebrating. Joyce. Yeah, does the state know why Washington is such an outlier when it does come to the overall number of deaths on the roads? The why is still really a, a mystery. One factor, though, that, that Shelley Baldwin is pretty confident in, and you may have heard this, the state has the lowest per capita number when it comes to police officers and state troopers for the population. So there aren't as many law enforcement agents out there looking for speeders and trying to slow people down. That's one factor. Uh, uh, impaired driving is up, both uh, alcohol and, and marijuana use in the state, but that's happening nationwide. So it's a little bit of a head scratcher, but the, the law enforcement part is a big part. Good to have the numbers though. True, thank you.